let me quickly show you how to submit tax information in Google AdSense. Now, this is the most updated Google AdSense tax information video that you will see on YouTube. But before we begin, if you want a complete easy guide on how to apply for the YouTube monetization or what we call the YouTube Partner Program, then watch the video currently displayed on your screen because I did justice to that. So having said that, let's quickly get to the easiest step-by-step -step how to submit tax information in Google AdSense in this video. So the first thing you want to do is to sign in to your Google AdSense account using adsense.google.com and once you enter, scroll all the way down to the Payment tab and click it. And once you do that, these two options will appear to you. Go ahead and click Payment Info. These tax information settings work for both YouTube and Blog AdSense. So don't worry if you are a blogger or a YouTuber. Scroll down and click Manage Settings. Now, before I continue, please do know that I am just recording this video to show you how I submitted my tax information in Google AdSense so I can receive my AdSense payment. So please don't take this video as a financial advice or tax professional advice. If you need one, then you should see your lawyer or your tax professional that is certified to do so. Alright, so let's continue. So now, scroll down until you get to the Ireland and the United States tax information here. If you live in Ireland, then click the pencil icon in front of the Ireland option. But if you live in any other country, including the US, then click the pencil icon next to the United States. Then click Manage Tax Info. Once again, come to the United States section here and click Add Tax Info. A pop-up will appear. Click Start Form. Once you do, you will need to sign in again with your Gmail account, so go ahead and do that. Okay, if your AdSense account is just for you as an individual, then click the Individual option. And if it is for a company, then click the non-individual slash entity option and click next. If you are a US citizen or you live in the US, then go ahead and tick yes. If you live in any other part of the world, go ahead and click no. Okay, what type of form am I trying to fill? I will go with the first option here. As you can see from the description here, that is the best for us. So click that and click next. Okay, here your name, which is the most important aspect of this form, is already pre added here. So you can just skip these other options if you don't have them and just come here and add your addresses. So here, pick your country. I will go with Nigeria. I'll skip the team info and click next. I'll come in here and fill in my residential address. If you have a different mailing address from your residential address, then go ahead and fill it. I'm using the same address for both purposes, so I will just tick this box and then click Next. Okay, this is quite important here. There is what we call the tax treaty, and this is not really relevant to US residents. If the country that is selected has a tax treaty with the US, then come here and click yes. If not, then click no. And if your country does, then tick the yes option. If you're not sure, as you can see here, Google will indicate already if your selected country has a tax treaty with the US. Another way to know is to select yes and click through the countries listed. If your selected country is absent, then your country does not have a tax treaty with the US. And the implication of not having a tax treaty with the US is that Google might deduct up to 30% of any ad revenue that you got from your US audience. Now, don't get this wrong. I am not saying the total ad revenue, but the portion of the revenue that comes from US views. So, I selected Nigeria as my country and Nigeria does not have a tax treaty with the US. So I will tick no and then click next. If you work for Google, then come here and click yes. I don't work for Google, so I will click no. Tick this box and then click next. Okay, you should read this agreement, right? 
So to be on the safe side, click the paperless agreement box and click next after reading the agreement. Again, read and click the confirmation box here and click next. Again, click this box. Tick this one also. Select the yes button here and now you are done. So you can go ahead and submit your AdSense tax form now. And now you can see the approved notification here. So now that you are done with your tax info, you can expect to start receiving your AdSense payment from Google once you have met all the other AdSense conditions. Please, if you watch to this point, then please take a pause and like this video and I will appreciate you. If you have any question for me regarding AdSense monetization or approval, then drop me your question or comment in the comment section below this video and I will attend to them. But before you go, you should watch this video on your screen where I show you how to apply for the YouTube monetization or what is called the YouTube Partner Program. It's a complete guide to applying for your monetization and how to get approval. I'll see you in my next video.